The American West is a patchwork of some of the most varied landscapes found anywhere on the planet. It's a place of history and exploration where fact and fiction often collide into sort of a grand mythology that's tightly held. It's also my home. And as much as it's about the Earth itself, the character of the West is shaped by the people that call it home. If the land is the body, the people are the beating heart and the soul of this place. Pikes Peak is at the heart of it all. Pushing up above 14,000 feet, it's a storied piece of pavement that leads to one of the highest peaks in the lower 48, leading to a seemingly infinite view of the West. We cross the Royal Gorge Bridge in awe of the depth and the gravity of the landscape around us. Forgotten roads led us off the beaten path deeper into the wilderness and open spaces that define both the freedom and the grit of the Western states. This is a landscape that was settled by hardy miners who went deep into the high mountains, carving out a rough living as they searched for silver and gold. Some of these roads are theirs, hewn into cliff sides and dug from steep valley walls. The roads cut through the mountains and ultimately fall away to the deep red of the desert southwest. Towers and walls, varnished and reaching into a deep blue sky. And finally, to my true home near the Bonneville Salt Flats and a shared history with Rolls Royce. It was here, on March 7, 1935, where Sir Malcolm Campbell and the Bluebird broke the land speed record. But rather than going back in time, it felt like driving the colon and across the same expanse was history racing forward to meet us, in the same place that it had been made. And so it seemed a fitting place for this journey to come to an end. As if at the end of a long road trip, I was being dropped off at my front door, with my eyes full of salt and a mind full of memories. <laughs>